Hello, dear friends of mine. Uh, my name is Teacher Peter. I think you remember me well. I'm coming today so that we look at mathematics that we have studied in first term. And I think you are also doing well there at home uh, due to this pandemic, COVID-19. We are still there at home, but we hope that very soon we will be back and we will start again. So <clears throat> here I have something to let you know. I want you to be with me in this course. That's going to be a little bit short. Today, me too, I want to show you there are things that you have studied in mathematics and we are going first to remember some of them. Dear friends of mine, do you remember that uh, we studied four place values in mathematics? Do you remember them? I can show you here. We have learned four place values that are ones, tens, hundreds, and lastly thousands. Here, the time we started this one, we said that once the attention was to be put on this ending S. So we say once shortened by O, tens shortened by T, hundreds represented by H, and then thousands with the TH. These ones, they are written in the table. It is called the place value table. It is like this one. Once, it has four rooms, of course. I think you remember. Ones, tens, hundreds, and then thousands. Dear friends, of mine, I think now, this one is now, you remember this one. So, we write numbers within this table. And uh, as we remember, we always start from ones, so we start from our right side. Writing numbers in the press value. Here I have an example number one. 4,679. I want this number to be written within this press value table. Because this is my lesson of today. I told you that when we are going to write numbers in the press value table, we first start from our right side by, by attributing letters first here. We may say this should be in the place of ones, tens, hundreds, and then thousands. So as I'm going to start from my right side, here I will put nine, then here I will write seven, because seven is under tens, then six, and a hundred, then finally four. Friends of mine, do you remember how to write numbers in the table? Okay, this is what I wanted you to remember. Then, <coughs> this press value table, it helps us to do many things, including writing numbers in words, writing numbers in figures, and the most importantly, carrying out addition and subtraction of numbers. So today we are going to look at addition of four digit numbers. The addition of four digit numbers. Example number one. Add 3214 to 1521. The answer. Let's I think everybody here. Who can't do that one? It is easy. Let us look at it again. Add 3,214 to 1,521. I told you the press value table helps us in addition of numbers. So let us use press value table to add the following. Friends of mine, I want your attention here on chalkboard. We have 3,214. Of course, I'm going to start. I'll begin with this number. 
I first need to write this number within my table, attributing later so that I write it in the table correctly, hundreds and then thousands. So this will be four, here is one, then here is two, and finally here is three. I am going to the second number of mine, but it is plus, which is there, then the second number of mine, here this is under ones, under tens, hundreds, then thousands. I here, I have one, that is one, under ones, two, under tens, then five, and hundreds, then one and a thousand. So I am going to add them now. Together. Four plus one is five. One plus two. One plus two. One plus two. Three. 2 plus 5, we are now here, 2 plus 5 is 7, and then finally, 3 plus 1, which is going to be equal to 4. Now, dear friends of mine, the answer that I obtained, I am going to write it here. The answer is 4,000, 4,600. 35, 4,735. So this is the way of adding numbers using the press value table. That was example number one. So here we have also example number two that I want you to help me. We first do the table here. We use the numbers. You see, let us check whether, whether these numbers are, correct, are correctly written in ones, tens, hundreds, and then thousands. So it was three under ones, two under tens, four under hundreds as it was there, see, then six under thousands, the second number of mine. Also, I need to put it in the table. Then I start, this one will be ones, tens, hundreds, and finally thousands. Friends of mine, let us now come to check if it was correctly in. We have six under ones, three under tens, one under hundreds, and one again under thousands. So, cutting out addition of hours, plus is there. Let's follow there. Three plus six. Friends of mine, three plus six. Over there. Huh, three plus six. We have nine. Then we hear here. Two plus three. Two plus three. Five. Good. Then, again, we have four plus one. Four plus one. It is five. Then finally, six plus one, which is equal to seven. Now, it, we are going to write the answer that you have obtained. We have seen it is 7,559 which is equal to 7,559. Now, dear friends of mine, why do we need to use the press value table while we are adding numbers? We use the press value table to ensure that digits are arranged so ones are under ones, Making sure that tens are under tens, and hundreds are under hundreds, and finally thousands are under thousands. Friends of mine, when you do not use the press value table, there should be a list of arranging digits 
so that you will find ones that are not under ones that time you will get the wrong answer again get me we need to use the press value table while adding digits okay i think you have seen reasons of adding those numbers within the press value table now here i have example number three you are going to take here papers then you are going to do this one the time i gave you do you have the table now ready mine is ready here are we together i think so now i'm going to count three then we we'll start the, the table of mine is ready here yours quickly quickly it has four rooms make sure there are four rooms ready okay let us move on now the first number that we are going to put on there we first need to attribute letters making sure that each digit will go in its place so these are ones tens hundreds then here there should be thousands then the second Thing we are going to do we are now going to write this number within the table starting from nine it is ones who have nine then we have seven and a tens then we have six then we have four we are going to add that is addition then here pay attention these are ones tens then hundreds friends of mine that is no place for a thousand so let us continue here i'm going to write zero this is one this is two then i'm going to add these things together now nine plus zero it is everybody knows this it is nine then seven plus one is eight six plus two six plus two hey six plus two we have eight then here it is four and the answer that i got is four thousand eight hundred eighty nine it is four thousand eight hundred eighty nine friends the do we get the same answer check if you two you got four thousand eight hundred eighty nine did we get the same answer i think you're checking on your copy huh so example number four we are going to do it in a quick way making sure that we are going to use the press value table and we arrange numbers as if ones will be found under ones tens under tens hundreds under hundreds then thousands under thousands friends of mine the here we had we were ending on hundreds while here we had thousands so the arrangement of numbers was to be that here there should be a place remaining so one of the reasons of using the press value table is to make sure that digits are well arranged here now we have the example number four i think you can see it here three thousand seven hundred ninety four plus five i need the answer there here of course my table is ready there whereas you two have where you are writing let's go together i'm going to give you i'm going to count three so that we start then we will compare the answers that you are going to get three two one zero let's go of course i'm going to start with this one and um to attribute it so that i write it well here so this yeah is ones tens hundreds then thousands 
So, as this clear scene here is four, nine, I think you two are calculating, seven, three, plus five, because this one also, it was to be under ones. I think you did it. Okay. I'm uh, doing it in a quick way. So, 4 plus 5. The answer is 9. Then, 9 plus. So this is going to be also 9. Then, here, is 7 and 3. So, me, I'm, I'm done. The answer you got is 3,799, so which is 3,799. Did we get the same answer? If yes, you are going to clap for yourself. If not, you are going to do it again. Check. If we get the same answer here, you're going to clap for yourself. Then, if they are different, you're going to do it again until you get the same so that you clap yourself also. So, friends of mine, I wanted you to remember the ways of adding digits using the press value table. And you have done four examples. Now, it is a time for you to do the exercise that I have planned for you. The exercise here Add the following. Number one, 7,321 plus 140. You are going to give me the answer. But please, friends of mine, make sure you use the press value table. Second, 424 plus 1, uh, again, here also we we'll use the press value table as a working way. Then the third, which is even the last, of 7,000 plus 407. You will give me, you will write and you will do and write the answer here using the press value table. Now, friends of mine, as we you are still there at home, the answers that you will get here, we will mark them for in the next lesson that I'm also going to plan for you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the attention. Stay safe, stay home, and uh, keep the, uh, practicing those uh, restrictive measures that they have said as we prevent ourselves from COVID. See you, and uh, I love you.